Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Uh, so first, let me just tell you that I got out the next quilt that will be the giveaway quilt. This one is for reaching 100,000. And you know, I'm probably gonna do a bonus giveaway after that when we get to maybe 105,000. Uh, I think I'll do one more after this one. But, cause I, I still have a few quilts here, just a few. But this one is a log cabin variation with a great big center. I love it, I love it. It is quilted in a Baptist fan. Uh, my friend Roberta helped me make this one because it was going in a publication and I was on a lot of travel. So uh, I had some help with this one. All different red fabrics in those deep to burgundy colors, not the bright, the kind of muted reds, and then all different tan fabrics. Uh, the backing <clears throat> has two this uh, light color stripe down the middle and the dark on both sides. And I'll show you this again a few times, <clears throat> excuse me. But we have uh, less than 4,000 subscribers need to happen. So tell your friends, tell your guild, uh, tell the groups that you're in to come and join me here on the channel. I would love to have them visit and be part of our community. Uh, I think we have a lot of fun. I think we have fun. So, you know, people are missing out if they're not here. <laughs> But this is this has been really fun to do the giveaway. So I have less than 4,000 subscribers and then this will go to a new home. So I wanted you to see it again. All right, what do I have? I've got the butterfly quilt up there because I've not, I'm filming these pretty close. And I actually have a Q&A later. I'm gonna talk a little bit about filming and uh, that quilt <laughs> I'll use as an example during the filming. All right, we had yesterday a lot of discussion on these blocks where there, well, let me get my, we're down to pretty much people are liking the teal and the black are the two that are the favorite colorways versus the white. I still think the white, white is crisp. And if I did it in one of the other fabrics, you would really love it. Um, I think seeing them together, they would all be really cool. But these are the two. Now there's a community tab here at Facebook, um, here at YouTube, the community tab here at YouTube. I put a poll up with a picture of each block and then you can mark which ones and you can leave comments and stuff. And so people are having a lot of fun with that. I would love to use that community tab a bit more because it is very effective. You're here on YouTube. Uh, I can leave you a message about something that's going on or about the video or a follow up in the community tab. You can leave comments, I can put pictures, I can do the polls. Uh, so, but not a lot of you are using it. So it's not really effective for me. You know, I still put something there every day to remind you in case you missed uh, the, the video. But I would like it to be a little bit more than that. Uh, but uh, if you're not there, it's not worth my time, is it? It's not. So I'm hoping that maybe if I do a couple polls or something, you'll kind of discover it and find it's a fun way to communicate. Who knows? Maybe you won't. <laughs> You just never know. Okay, there was a, uh, somebody pointed this out, which is very true, which is very true. And I noticed it and didn't talk about it uh, the other day. Uh, yesterday, was it the other day? It was yesterday. Uh, but because I used uh, um, these four corners, the same color as the pears, uh, these are all really blendy right here, really blendy. Now, if I had used one of the other fabrics for the line, that wouldn't have happened. And I wasn't, I think I was very excited. I wasn't really thinking through that I should have used a different color for this square. So I may, if I'm going with the teal, I may undo this block and actually put a different color and then use these four strips in a different block. You know, they won't go to waste. I would just switch them out. So I think that's going to, if, if I, I'm leaning to the teal now, and if I do that one, I'll flip, I'll switch it out. It didn't happen as bad on the black. I only have a couple little spots. It, it doesn't have the same effect, but this one, it just basically starts to look like a circle in the middle. You use the, you lose the effect of it. So that is where auditioning your fabric and taking some, uh, just a minute or two to think about it is really, really good. Now, the, yesterday, I forgot, or I didn't forget, I knew I was running long. Uh, I, was, I wanted you to share a table runner 
once a month I'm trying to put that on the calendar that we share a table runner because they are so fun to do and here is one of mine from my tantalizing table toppers book and this is one of my books that will still be in print it has been picked up by C&T and so this one and my learn to quilt book are both um, going to still be uh, in, in print. Uh, so I won't have that many books in print uh, very short. Well, I don't now. I just have a few uh, that are still being printed. But this one, the uh, Table Toppers book is, and I love these on point. They are just so dainty and beautiful, really pretty for a summer runner. Uh, if you're doing a garden party or doesn't it be pretty like for a baby shower to put this on the table. Uh, and if you were doing something really fun, you could get people to sign the back if you did that mine has uh, a floral a floral on the back uh, so that so today share a table topper of yours over in our community quilt along with Pat Sloan also today is tulip day <clears throat> I did you know the world tulip day my our tulips in this area are long gone but uh, <laughs> In other parts of the world, uh, parts north of me, uh, you are getting your tulips to, to just come into season. And so if you have a tulip quilt, you could share that today. Uh, and you've seen mine. It's We just did the free one and I have some other ones. But uh, And I'm going to talk about my quilt organization. So it's a bit of a mess at the moment. And there's also train day. So we are big train fans here. Uh, so if you have train quilts, you could share those today. So it's a good good day for sharing this Saturday. All right, so I have a, a um, mail call I want to do. I have something that came that I want to open up and see what it is. Uh, so give me a second. Okay, I got a present from Vicki in Georgia. Here's this beautiful card she sent. Those colors are amazing. I think that color palette would be a fantastic quilt the kind of bluey and pinks and charcoal color. Okay, but wait, I have to stand back to show you this. <laughs> Vicki, this is just amazing. She made this for me and let's see, it's got a little hanger here. Here we go. Look at this wreath. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Vicki. And she made this. She's got the pink flamingo on there. I've got my own little flow with her own little tutu and the beautiful welcome sign and all of these gorgeous colors, these pinks and greens and very, very summery. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to find a great place uh, on my front porch for this. I think this is perfect for the front porch. Ah, <laughs> I had to fluff up the ribbon here a little bit. So I just got it out so that, you know, it came, so it's got wire ribbon in there, but look at this. Look at those, so fabulous. Mwah. Thank you for thinking of me and taking the time to make me something so personal and awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> and it came in a big box. <laughs> Greg was like, you have a big box today. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, you guys spoil me so much. It is so fun when the packages come. <laughs> Just so fun. Okay. Today is our big, the big thing for today is tidy up. So I was talking on the morning chat and the morning chat is from about seven through the video running at 7.15 a.m. Eastern time. You know, there's about six, 700 of us usually who are on there chatting uh, and it's, the chat part is live. So I was saying I needed to, you know, really redo, reorganize and stuff. And I knew today was tidy up, was the tidy up day for the month to really put out there for something for you to do. For me, okay, I've got quite a bit that has to be done. Like it's, it's ridiculous. Um, and I'm going to get the other camera. I'm just going to show you a few things, but your tidy up for today is to look around your space. And do you have that one thing that you have procrastinated on in some way? Like you either procrastinated to um, put it away. <clears throat> Maybe you procrastinated to get it out of its container. Uh, you know, you may have gotten something and then you looked at it, you put it back in this container because it needs to be put somewhere to, you know, and this could be somewhere else in your house too. It doesn't have to be just in your sewing area associated with your quilting. Uh, but today is to find that one thing that you have procrastinated on 
and uh, move it ahead, fix it, put it away, whatever has to happen, do it. Um, if it needs to be taken to the goodwill, do that. Um, you know, whatever it is. Uh, because I think what happens is with procrastination, we think it's going to take much longer than it will. Uh, and we just, and then it just sort of nags, doesn't it? Procrastination, those items just nag at us forever in a day. Um, and the, and what I find is that often it is a lot faster to have just done it, get it done, and it you will spend less time putting the thing away, getting it, moving on to the next location, you know, unpacking it, working on it, you know, getting it sewn, whatever it is you'll spend less time doing that than you will ignoring it. <laughs> Tell me if I'm wrong. But yeah, we have all been there. We've all been there. So for me, the tidy up is kind of, it, I've been ignoring it. See, that's where my procrastination come in because I know before I left to go to Montana to see my mom, I had, a, 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 I had to do extra videos that I don't normally do that far in advance. And so I was ignoring and procrastinating, just ignoring some of these things. Like I have several bins of fabric that need to be put away and I'm not gonna probably keep that fabric. So I know that and I need to then get a bag and put them in and figure out who they're gonna go to. Uh, and so it's a little bit more, but it's gonna happen because uh, I am not doing a video on Monday. So just remind, remember there's no video on Monday and that's because I need the time. And actually this afternoon, I am going to tape two, Tuesday's video. So hopefully I have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday where I don't have to do any taping. I have three days. I can say I work in here. I can work in my yard. I can do all these things I need to do um, that I would like to just have three days where I don't have to stop and film anything. All right, let's take a look at my stuff that needs addressed. <laughs> Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad for me. You might think it's not bad, but for me, it's bad. I have a small space here and I can't work in clutter and I'm drowning at the moment. Let's take a look. Let's first look at the beauty here before we look at the mess. <laughs> because behind it, we're going to start. On this table, I've got, well, I've got the summer memories and then I have the fabric with the pairs and stuff. And those all need, these need to go like in a project bin. Uh, Maybe this one because the butterfly is getting done, so I really don't need that project bin. This container and that bag need to be gone through. And we're just gonna go over here. My rolling cart, I have got in the top. This project stuff is done. That was my tulip. And then here's some stuff that I didn't use for the crown, and so I need to put it back. And then down, this one's okay, but that one down there at the bottom, yeah, needs, needs addressed. Here, <clears throat> I've got here I've got two more of these acrylics that I want to uh, take my floss and loosen it up because they're just kind of a mess and get them in two more bins. I also have fun things and more fun things that need to be shown. Uh, so that is what's going on back there. So we're going to go to the other side. More things on the floor, which I do not like at all, having things on the floor. So here is the whole socialites bin. That project's done. The fabric needs to be like dispersed, uh, put back. This is from the Holiday Hoopla. That has not been put away. Uh, here is our Sweet Childhood Memories. That has not been put away. Um, I have one bin out in my dining room that I moved that goes in here somewhere from one of the projects. And so that, and then my cross stitch card, that's pretty good. I'm not, I'm okay with that. And then I'm, this is work, the work stuff, you know, cause I'm working on things. So there is a peek around. So that's real life. I have all those bins and I have certain of those fabrics. Like I, once I use 
fabrics and a quilt and stuff. I don't keep a lot of the extra pieces. I go ahead and donate them to charity groups that I work with so that they can make quilts for charity because I'm going to probably, I'm going to move on. I know it's not probably, I will be moving on to new fabric, different fabric, and I don't need to, to keep any of that. And I know occasionally I have kept a piece or two and occasionally I even have shown you that I did that and I used it. Uh, and if I don't, there will always be other fabric that I can use. <laughs> <laughs> There's always, always other fabric. Okay, so I had a couple of Q&A. Uh, one was from Roseanne who wanted to know what this little thing is that I keep by my sewing machine. So I keep a cutting mat. This is just a small cutting mat. They come in, you know, many different colors. This is fig trees, so it comes in a peach on one side and green on the other. And I lay it, let me show you on the other camera because you can't see from here. So I lay this little mat on the um, on the metal part of my Baby Lock Solaris so that when I put my scissors down or other things, I don't scratch up the machine. You know, I just don't want to scratch up the machine. And I've, I've been doing this for years. And so those little cutting mats are great for that. And I just, uh, I really like having them there. Let's see, I have another question from um, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> who wanted to know how many bobbins do I wind? Okay, I am not a pre-wound, I'm not, I'm not a wind a lot of bobbins person. So some of you might be in the camp that you wind a ton of bobbins in advance and you keep them, maybe you only use you know beige and black to sew with. I use all different colors to sew with and so I tend to just wind one at a time and if I know I'm gonna do a lot, I wind more. Like right now I have some uh, beige in the machine here there yeah, like from my orofil thread there's all orofil 50 weight thread and so I have some of this cream and I don't ha I I just use I wound two at a time with that one <laughs> that was it and then I have a, an extra sitting up there but basically this one is about it and I know like if you wind tons of bobbins in advance and keep them and have some sort of awesome system share it with our community today over at quilt along with pat sloan that would be amazing just to see what you do okay and the last question i have is from uh, martha was which i want to just talk a little bit about how things how i work with the videos here because a lot of you have asked me questions sort of out and about this like like this she says you know how far in advance do i work to record the videos and so my basic process, my basic process for recording the videos is to usually do them one day in advance. So this is Friday and I'm taping Saturdays, which you're watching right now. Um, but there are times when I will do them two days or three days prior, particularly if I have a lot of sewing. So like right now, if I wanted to show you like fast action in a way, if I wanted to be sewing a row of the butterfly quilt and then showing you the row and then in the same video, sew the next row and the next row and the next row and get that whole wing done, I would, I personally would have to do that over several days. I couldn't, um, it's just too much and it's not fun for me to be sewing and filming and sewing and filming, sewing and filming that much. I will often do, I usually do just the one block, like, okay, so here, just like the one block. So if I'm going to do the one block, I will talk about it and show you the design stuff. Then I will sew the block, you know, no filming is happening. Then I will show it to you afterwards. Uh, that is a norm if there's just one block or two blocks. But when there's more than that, it tends to get a little bit crazy. So that's why sometimes I will film parts that I show you, um, you know, like I would film now, but then I would say, okay, let's see what I did when I was working on that and I would have different clothes on and stuff like that. But all of it is filmed prior because there's, I'm, there, this is not a live feed, it's not live. Uh, now, when I went to Montana, I filmed five videos in advance, but they weren't that far in advance. They weren't any different than you would have seen had, you, had I been doing them the day before. I just did them a week before. The content was exactly the same had I done it when I was home, you know, it wasn't really any different. You, sh you won't notice any difference because my, my flow is always the same. So I don't know if that makes sense, if that helps. I just thought, you, you know, there were several people who asked questions kind of out and about and around that, how does it work uh, part of this. Okay, so table runners today, 
table runner show me a table runner this one's from my tantalizing table toppers book uh, it'd be fun to do it in another color just to see like a fall or something like that and then tidy up you're going to get that procrastination area addressed over the weekend and happy mother's day <laughs> to all of the moms the moms who uh are you know people in your people in your life who who are like a mom you know because there are so many of us that have those people in our lives i have friends my age that i feel like they're my mom you know they they just have that aura about their friendship and about their relationship with everybody and so it is it is fabulous and i celebrate my mom today uh, or tomorrow every day i love my mom <laughs> so i love you thank you for being in the slime zone i will see you online